So here, second part of Jason Thicker's uh, Great British Landscapes talk, and uh, we're in a wood, is it not so far away from Bolton Abbey? Near, actually, near your house, is it? This is the, the, the walk that we did together, actually. Um, we walked, oh, okay. um, do you know the reservoir? The reservoir, The first yes. reservoir, and we walked um, yes. along this very path, um, and we walked back in Pitch Park. Yes, it got a bit dark, didn't it? Yeah. Quite quickly. That was, that was near summer, wasn't it? It was, yeah, middle of summer. Um, this, this was taken, um, again, this uh, winter, um, I can't remember the exact time, but it was about a few months ago. Um, but um, we've got a couple of shots here. This, this one, and the um, so this um, again was it was a, another shot, which is um, from a wood that's again that we went to. But um, yeah. so this was taken same this, reservoir this, place. This, yeah, yeah. Um, but this different different times. Actually, were they different times? No, they weren't. They were the same time. Right. I, 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 I'm forgetting when I was. I, I, I processed this one first because I really liked this. Um, uh, are these shortly after you got your Canon kind of 5D Mark II? No, these were these were this quite year, recently. Yeah, right, okay, yeah. quite recently. Um, but yeah, this one I think is interesting for me anyway because um, it has a similar elements to the last one, the barcode one that you, me you mentioned, yes. um, with the the different layers of different textures and the other what, way around. What I was particularly interested in with this this shot was the sort of shades and the depths um, in here, because there's a slight bit of fog in the in the, um, in the forest. Yes. Um, and I was at the edge of the forest, but it, this one particular bit is a very, very dark bit. And there's like almost no vegetation in the forest because it's so dark. But on the edge, there was some amazing colours in, in the, um, in the, that were sort of been brought out by the fog. Um, and what I really liked was the way that these lines crisscrossed. So the you know the sort of yeah. these lines were going it's up. Like a grid of colours, isn't it? Yeah, and I actually I actually I went closer into this and actually did some some more abstract compositions. But I, I, what I found was um, I preferred them. The, the, the structure is there. You can see the sort of yeah. you know diamonds going on, and um, that's what originally attracted me to it. But then I, I decided to use um, a telephoto to um, sort of stand back, but also flatten the perspective. Yes. Um, and sort of play around with trying to get it all one layer, but then also with this little shades create some depth in there. Now, I don't think that many people like this kind of shot, or certainly the feedback that I've got um, has been kind of not particularly, um, it's, not wow, it's not a wow shot anyway. Yeah. So when you say feedback, is that feedback online or feedback from people you know as well? And a bit of both really. Yeah. Um, it's one of those, you know, you get the shots that you, you um, there's something about them you really like and they kind of... I think it, it's symptomatic of some kind of working progress and sort of direction that I'm, I'm heading in. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's almost like a, the first stepping stone of, a, of a, almost a project, almost. Yes. Um, and it's kind of it, it, I don't quite know where it's going to go, but it's, it's something about it. And certainly, the sort of these subtle structures. Um, I mean, obviously, a pine forest uh, is great at creating um, some some great sort of structures. Uh, you know, with the sort of very angular shapes that you can get in there, which are great for composition. Yeah. Um, but then you get these patches of, of, of sort of you know colour in the distance, and especially when in winter when you get this you know these sort of, sort of misty um, you know it's bracken brackeny colours, and then you know the greens, and then this, there's, that, there's actually blues in there because the the the, the uh, fog was you know you can see here there's quite blue there if you sort of got a colour picker on that it's really yeah. really blue. But yeah, so for me that's kind of um, so this is quite a long lens then about two hundred or something. Again, yeah, I, um, this is probably. Um, Really, yeah, yeah. It was probably on a lot of long lens. I mean, I can't remember what, what exactly yeah. what it was, but it was, yeah, just a and square. So yeah, cropped on, per cropped intentionally while you were looking at it, or does it? Well, I've been um, I've been toying with the idea of, of, of um, getting the greetings card range out, range out, and right. um, I sell greetings cards through various different companies, and yeah. and one of them has actually um, it's, it's inspired me to think about doing my own, um, and that's kind of why I'm sort of trying to force some square compositions really. Yeah. Um, not because I, I, mean, I do like square compositions, and you know, I think if you if you compose that with that in mind, it's um, it's quite interesting. But it also enables you to kind of bounce the viewer's eye a lot more around the the shot, and you kind of. <laughs> I'm aware I'm sitting in your attic, and uh, and we, we, there's lots of interesting conversations conversations we could have about different aspect ratios. Oh yeah, yeah don't get, we've done a lot of that one. Um, but it's um, there is something about square though that that it doesn't force. I don't think it forces you to read a picture in a certain way. If you've got a portrait, an upright one, you read up and down, and landscape left yeah. to right is the dominant direction. And what's going to be interesting, actually, when we go to the next shot here, because I mean, this 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 is square um, for obvious reasons. Um, but then, if you go to this shot, which I kind of, I wasn't even thinking of any particular type of um, aspect ratio on this. I was just I cropped it based on what I wanted to do on the day. But yes. I didn't have, you know, I've shot on my uh, my 5D. Um, 
but it just tend to scream out um, for this because, well, certainly from the, the the top, it was it lost a bit of energy at the top because there was a lot of bright areas up here. So I kind of I wanted to maintain where these leaves were and you know not have too many holes in the composition at the top. Yes. Um, but but this is, this this shot is a little bit further down. So the last shot is about um, half a mile down here. So the this, the re you're at the edge of the reservoir here. There's actually water down here. About and hence the mist, presumably. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and I remember some, uh, last couple. I think I've been here with you a couple of times actually. I can't remember actually, but um, you, you certainly were, were down here somewhere. Oh, you? right. The doing, of the yeah, doing the overhanging branches in the water. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so this is quite different to the to the last shot. Obviously, we were talking about aspect ratio, and this is um, this is a, 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 a quite a severe crop on on the thing. Um, obviously, the the five D Mark II sort of aspect, sort of three two aspect ratio. Yeah. Um, but um, the reason why I did it was because the 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 top had lots of um, empty spaces and it was kind of losing energy um, up at the top. Um, and obviously here you can see lots, there's lots of um, not lots of vegetation, but there's there's vegetation and, and sort of tree, quite subtle tree branches up here. But in this area there was a lot of white areas. I wanted to just crop it back. And also um, the, the the sort of foreground path was a bit. It was a bit more of the same really, so it wasn't particularly very interesting. And yeah. you know, I wanted the, the sort of diagonal to come. The, into, into the, right the, the side shot. diagonal comes out nicely there as well. Yeah, this 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 shot basically is um, about a mile. So you go down the path about a mile that's, uh, the, from the previous shot, and you see it sort of opens out quite a bit. Um, and because the the the, um, the reservoir is just literally you know, not far, is you know, maybe three hundred meters. Which reservoir is it, by the way? Um, I think it's um, Lindley Reservoir. Lindley, yes, that's the one. Um, so it's kind of um, just down here. It's uh, it's not particularly. It's a beautiful walk down this side of the reservoir, but you can't walk all the way around it. Which it's is a couple a of miles down one side, isn't it? Basically, yeah, think, a yeah. mile and a half. Or something. Yeah, but there's, there's a hell of a lot of veg vegetation. But what struck me here was there's an interesting bit with the path that kind of curves around and yes and and what was happening here was that the fog was coming off the um off the reservoir and it was it was being pushed up the hill so it's quite clear up, up over here but then this was it's kind of it was like ebbing and flowing and i was there for a few you know a good few minutes and, and it was kind of it coming and going and it said sometimes it was really thick and as fog sort of does that kind yeah. of thing and um, i mean i actually tried to self portrait here and i kind of you know <laughs> into it. Yeah. No, no. I was, I was like, you know, leaning against a tree and stuff, oh, and, right, you know, okay. doing, doing horrible yeah. things like that. Um, but I hate, hate doing stuff like that. But, um, but what struck me here was the, 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 the vast majority of different colours that you can get. Yeah, the, the, the brambles. The, um, it's the brambles, isn't it? And by the sides yeah. of the path are fantastic. The greens in there, um, and the old beech leaves. But this kind, of, this kind of weather. This kind of. I mean, I, I went up here. Um, I'd seen that David posted a few shots on on his website of fog and stuff, and I kind of yes. um, I was, that actually inspired me to go out on the day. I, I, I was I had a sort of day without the kids, right? Um, and I kind of just went out with with not with just for a walk really, and, and sort of because it was foggy, I sort of got quite inspired with um, with kind of the subtle shades. So you can sort of go from these lovely blues or subtle blues in in the sort of middle of the sort of down here, this yes. sort of area. We, we were kind of going into the um, nothingness almost. Um, and then there was kind of right up to sort of rich browns and greens and stuff, and kind of the whole sort of gamut. I actually got a print of this because um, it's a nice big print that I'm going to sort of frame and stick on my wall at home because it's kind of, again for me, it, um, it really it wasn't. It's not a wow shot, and it's kind of quite subtle. But it, I think it's a picture you could live with because there's so much, there's so many things to look at. I love that tree on the right hand side, um, this one top here. right. Yes, yeah, it's sitting yeah. between those two gaps. It's quite. It doesn't quite fit in with the rest of the trees. So yeah. It's like a little ghost tree in the background there, but I, I do like pictures where you can grow into them almost. You know, they they don't shout at you. Yeah, you go to them rather than them come to you. I mean, what what originally struck me here was the the, um, the sort of, you know the, the sort of shape of these and then the sort of silver birch trees and kind of the the the, the interesting textures in, in this foreground and the way yeah. that the way that you kind of had your eye had to go around them so in, the, the with paths the path. hidden in the background. Yeah, yeah, and. Um, I spent a lot of time trying to get these, the sort of the nice sort of shaft, sort of the, these little lines that go up. Yeah. And um, trying to get something with the fog anyway. Trying to get the the little sort of lines so they weren't intersecting too much. Which that sounds like a really weird thing to say, but um, it took no, it makes sense. It, it's and it's very difficult to do, isn't it? It's especially a while to move backwards and forwards and just get the right lining up. Especially, yeah, I mean, absolutely, but especially things like this, which is clearly a prominent feature in, in the, obviously this is the main central focus area. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the way that you got these lines behind it. But, you know, as, as this, clearly I wanted depth, there was fog there, I wanted, I wanted to sort of explore the depth of it. But you, you're quite right, you know, this, this was a kind of almost, 
paradoxical juxtaposition against the kind of s the structure in yes. here. Um, so the two things were kind of op opposing each other quite a lot, really. Um, so it, it, for me, it's it's uh, it's um, you know it's very nice, and it's it, I think I think it's interesting when you when you ask photographers which which shots they print themselves and put on the wall. Yes, yeah, you know. not normally the ones that they. they well, known for taking, as it were. Yeah, so it, it, it tells you something about people, really. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about the fog is, um, Dav, Dav has a bit of a reputation for fog. And he, so much so that somebody bought him two smoke bombs for his birthday last year. Yeah, I remember so you saying. Bring his, own, bring his own with him. Yeah, we went to the lakes, I remember you saying. Yeah. And it has crossed my mind a number of times. <laughs> I actually, I actually, I, I used to work in um, in special effects and, and TV and stuff, and we used to, and, and when I was, when I was, Training in that, uh, I'm an animator by trade, and when I when I um, was training in that environment, we, I I made some some sets, um, some sort of stop motion sets, and we, um, we used them to sort of light light to, to light them, and, yeah, smoke yeah. machines. And um, so we had this kind of this this old rusty old almost like Second World War thing that we put these in, and it was great. And I think but obviously it's a bit big to carry in your camera bag. You have to be careful. Is an American photographer got banned from national parks for a while because he set fire to, he set fire to a tray of barbecue. Lighters. That's a good idea. And stuck them in a tray. <laughs> Unfortunately, he was doing this in a workshop and showing everybody else how to do it. And yeah. all, all the fluid from the tray dripped down one of the national monuments there oh and dear. stained the whole side of this red rock monument. Wet leaves are perfect. For burning? Yeah. Yeah. A barbecue, wet leaves. Yeah. You can um, see you getting in trouble. I can't take the credit for this. Fog. We don't recommend this. No, obviously not. Um, I can't take the credit for that fog. So, yeah, wait until it's foggy and then go out. Wait until fog. it's foggy. Sounds like a great idea. But it doesn't happen as often as you think, actually. It's um, one of those phenomena that, you know, you've got to really. Fairly unpredictable as well. Yeah. Especially the thickness with the, you know, because I was, you know, the ebbing and flowing of it as well. There are certain moments when you, you quite often get a blanket fog. But mm. when, you, when you get the texture to it like that, it's fantastic. And again, especially when you're sort of working. I mean, if I was here at sun, I think from the angle, I, th I think it's uh, the sun does rise sort of over here somewhere. So I've been here a number of times. So it's before like, sunrise then, probably. Or is no, this, no, early no. On? this is actually in the middle of the day, I think. Right. Okay. Um, in sort of mid afternoon, early day, early mid afternoon, I think it was. Yeah. Um, but I've been down here a couple of times. I've been down. I went with you at sunset once, and I, yeah. I've been down a few times. So the sunset's sort of on the other side of the lake, and it's yes. quite quite good for that. Um, you get some nice reflections and stuff. And I actually took a. Um, a workshop down here actually sort of, you know, with the, the people down there that's sort of had this lake and stuff um, but I think I've always wanted to go here at sunrise I've been on the other side at sunrise a number of times um, but you're not really supposed to I shouldn't really said that <laughs> <laughs> I was kind of half there and half not there yeah you weren't there really were you? no no no, no. Yeah, I was kind okay. of yeah I was, I'd lost my dog and we were looking for it <laughs> so do you do much post-production work on these do you do, do you do would you have done a lot to this file it looks very natural looking. Mm, I no, not an awful lot actually. Um, I think um, I balanced the exposure. Having said that, no, I didn't because it, the the exposure was pretty balanced because it was quite foggy. Yeah. Um, I think I just take shooting raw. Um, it wasn't a long exposure, so there's not a lot of noise in it. Um, so now I, I, I really don't think I did very much to it's it. Actually, fairly straight then. Yeah, it's um, it's pretty representative of what was there. You can see here this dark slide. I, I love. What, what I do do uh, and often is take one shot in raw, and sometimes with the grad, sometimes not with the grad. Yeah. Um, I tend not to use grads too much, but I, you know when the when it's clearly an obvious sort of flat horizon, yes. I would wouldn't hesitate to do that. But um, we can see you can see it's a little bit darker in this area because this was a little bit brighter. So I, I, typically, I'd have taken a couple of exposures out of raw just to balance it a little bit and sort of use some um, masks in Photoshop to kind of. All oh, right. So you've taken a darker shot. To yeah, play with it as well. Yeah, but to be honest, I don't think I did much on here because um, you can see a line here which was dark, and I, and I probably did darken it a little bit at the top. Yeah, just I, to close it in. But tried not to. Um, cause you, well, you can if you look at the the tree up here, you can see. I'm just going slightly a little bit, isn't it? Not much. Barely. Not much at all, is it? Though? It's barely. It is on this one a little bit more, but and certainly on this. But this was the brightest area of the shot anyway, because this is where the um, the open area in the shot was, and this was yeah. just going into like a, a into into the, into the forest really. Wonderful. Being